This is Mia King's video in response to exam mini video one. This is a pedigree of Boy Meets World and Girl Meets World in which Alan Matthews marries Amy Matthews. They have four children, Eric, Corey, Morgan, and Joshua. Corey goes on to marry Topanga and they have two children, Riley and Augie. And then Riley is in a relationship with Lucas. The disease shown by the shaded regions in this diagram is Finney's disease. This is my personal art that I have done, but one example of mode of inheritance is X-linked recessive, in which usually more males are affected because the males can only get their X chromosome from their mother, and it usually skips generations. So an example would be hemophilia A. So in this situation, the father is affected and the two daughters are carriers. Another example is X-linked dominant, in which usually more females are affected. It does not skip generations, and fathers with the trait will pass it on to their daughters. An example is Fragile X Syndrome. So in this situation, the father has the disease, so both of his daughters will have it as well. Unlike X-linked recessive and X-linked dominant, with autosomal recessive, the gender of the child does not matter. So with autosomal recessive, it appears in both sexes equally, it skips generations usually, and is usually affected offspring will have unaffected parents that are carriers. An example is sickle cell anemia. So in this situation, both the parents are carriers, so one child will have the disease and two will be carriers. Like autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant does not depend the gender of the child. So with this, it appears in both sexes equally, does not skip generations, and the affected offspring must have an affected parent. An example is Huntington disease. So here, the father is affected, and so two children will also be affected. Lastly, Y linked, only the males are affected, it does not skip generations. An example is Y chromosome infertility. So here the father is affected, so both of his sons will be affected. For our pedigree, X linked recessive, autosomal dominant, and autosomal recessive are all possible and they are color coded to be seen easier. Our pedigree cannot be X linked dominant because of Cori. So the father is affected and the mother is not affected. So whenever you do the Punnett square cross of them, all of their daughters will be affected like Morgan, but all of their sons will be unaffected. However, Corey is affected. Lastly, Y linked is not possible for our pedigree because Morgan and Riley are both females, yet they have the trait. As a reminder, the canvas on the left is my personal art while the other information was found from the references on the right.